Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 34, verses 10 and 11. Let's read them. Then God said, Behold, I am going to make a covenant before all your people. I will perform miracles which have not been produced in all the earth, nor among any of the nations. And all the people among whom you live will see the working of the Lord, for it is a fearful thing that I am going to perform with you. Be sure to observe what I am commanding you this day. Behold, I am going to drive out the Amorite before you, the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Okay, so let's look at these two verses here. We're just still looking at these two here today. And so um, God says he's going to make a covenant. He's working with them. He's embracing the people into his covenant again. Now, God says in this verse 10, let's uh, mark it down. It might even be something you want to memorize. God will do miracles among his people. Uh, things that can't be explained by natural processes. If we are with God, he will on occasion, he knows what's best. He will do the supernatural, the miraculous. He'll do things that there's no scientific explanation for. I mean, there's many explanations that come uh, dripping out of every every crazy person, but but God's going to do things that are supernatural. Now, if we expect that, oh, the time for those miracles is past, that's not where we're at. It doesn't happen currently. Or maybe we have doubts that those things ever happen. Friend, here it doesn't say, by the way, this is time limited, right? There is a, not a time when God shuts himself off and says, uh, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we're going to take about a thousand years off here and zero miracles and let's see how that goes. Instead, God says, "If these are my people. Did you see what it said? Verse 10, look at it again. Maybe you and I have a little bit of a faith challenge here. But again, before all your people, I will perform miracles which have not been produced in all the earth nor among any of the nations. And all the people among whom you live will see the working of the Lord, for it is a fearful thing that I'm going to perform with you. So um, do you think that has ended? As God said, um, miracles for these people, but not these people. Miracles for these people, but not these people. Uh, these people that happen to live at this time, we'll give them, uh, we'll give them, you know, six miracles a year. But for these guys that live at the end of time, zero miracles a year. That's not the way it works. Uh, God is ready to act in, in, a, in a way that we, we cannot explain by our understanding of physics and of the world. And I believe that is true for us today. And uh, in fact, when we do an anointing service, sometimes we anoint people for healing. Um, this is a verse, a good verse to bring, uh, bring along. God will sometimes act. Other times, he, in his wisdom, he knows it's best. He chooses not to act in the way that we might deem miraculous. Or maybe he takes gives us a longer term uh, healing, but it's up to him. And all we, what he asks us to do is, is be right with him and ask. And he's the one who can, in his wisdom, if it will help us toward the kingdom or give glory to him, he may do a miracle. So friend, I hope you embrace the idea of a truly <laughs> supernatural God who does miracles today. I do. I do. I know it's, um, I might seem to be unscientific, you know, or, you know, like I'm some kind of crazy person, but I take it on Exodus 34, verse 10. Here's some, here's some promise from God's word that he, in his divine sovereignty, he may act uh, and do, he says he will, just a question of which cases he chooses to take up, uh, which ones are for our good. So friend, God, you may need a miracle in some way. Look at verse 10 and keep this as one of your Bible promises. If you're walking with Jesus, this may be one of the ways that he'll demonstrate that he's with you. Friend, have a beautiful day and be a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. See you tomorrow.